Good afternoon, Ape Nation. Guys, what's going on? It is Saturday, December 11th, 2021. And if you happen to have clicked on this video, if you're a subscriber, you're just a viewer or a random ape out there who possibly is in a situation right now mentally and emotionally wondering what is going on with AMC. Are we still going to mow ass? Are we getting screwed? What's going on? I'll just ask for the next five to seven minutes so I can tell you my personal belief in this play, what reconvicted me in the last 24 hours after we took the beating that we did this week, or actually the last 10 days. And hopefully we're both going to agree and see eye to eye when this video is done. But if not, that's fine too. I understand. But I want to try to make the case of why AMC and the MOAS is still green lit, even though it may not seem that way. All right, but before we get into detailed information and personal emotional feelings, cue the speeder. All right, let's get into this. No doubt about it, in the last two weeks, we have taken an absolute ass whooping from the short sellers, the hedge funds, the brokers, whoever you want to blame right now, this plan to go around, pick someone. We certainly right now are on the shit end of the stick in this mo ass play. And I uploaded the video yesterday uh, talking about CPI data and the DOJ investigation because they were actual factual numbers that I could bring to you guys and factual information that was backed up by credible sources uh, that possibly will help anyone out there who is trying to make decisions going forward. What are they going to do? I didn't upload another video the whole week because I personally need to take a step back from this play for a second, unplug from social media, unplug from YouTube, unplug from any other influence uh, that could be swaying my decision one way or the other and look at this and say is this financially something I can afford to go forward with or is it time for me to pack up I hope I was the only one yesterday um, who just felt a little demoralized but if you do feel that way I'm with you and I understand and, and when I woke up this morning I was thinking to myself I don't really know how much more of this I can take I don't make a living on ad revenue from YouTube videos. I'm not uploading five videos a day, making thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, I barely have enough subs right now, and I love all you guys, but I barely have enough to even make ad revenue. So for me, when I turned on the camera back in April, this was always about the play. In my eyes, this was a no-lose situation. We could get back at the hedge funds for what they did to us in January, we could try level the playing field and expose all the corruption that's going on in the broader market, payment for order flow, the dark pools, the whole nine. And we could possibly take this stock and create the MOAS. AMC would become the mother of all short squeezes. I could make some profit on my original investment and do some things with that that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And so I had a vested interest in being as punctual and factual as I can with the information that I put out in these videos. Where am I going with all this? I woke up this morning, I replugged back into social media, turned on YouTube, and saw that last night some storms rode through the Midwest, affecting like six or seven states, and they feel like up to 100 people have been killed. And um, that kind of started my perspective uh, in a positive way, not because of what happened, but thinking to myself, man, I'm here bitching about all this stuff and things could be way worse. As I went through YouTube to see what new news had come out since yesterday morning, I noticed that CNBC had uploaded the official full interview between Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC, and Melissa Lee from CNBC. Now, just in case you don't know, 
they actually played clips of this back in September when they put out the Apes Cracking Wall Street video. They pulled some ex excerpts from this original uh, interview. So this is f just about three months old. So I just want you to kind of remember that for context. Now, when this video first came out a few months ago, I had put a video out saying that I thought this was kind of a puff piece and that CNBC was probably realizing that Fox Business was garnering a lot of attention from the ape community, which is huge, as we all know right now. And they wanted to tap into that market. And so I didn't give much credit to the interview itself or the documentary. But in the last five minutes of this interview, the full interview that is on CNBC's YouTube page, if you want to go watch it, I want to just pull two clips that really reinvigorated my spirit and my belief in the community, in the play, in all of you guys out there and what we've been doing for the last 11 months. Roll the film. My last question to you, Adam, is, is how does this movie end in your view? There are a lot of retail investors who have made a fortune off of AMC stock. There are also a lot of investors who keep plowing more money in when, when I tweeted that I was talking to you today. What, what do you guys want to know out there on Twitter? One person said, I want you to tell Adam Aaron that 10% of every paycheck goes to AMC till the mother of all short squeezes. Are you worried about, uh, you know, not the fairy tale ending, but, but the opposite? Retail investors whose dreams don't really work out. Is there going to be a mother of all short squeezes? All right, so before I let Adam Aaron answer that, whoever the ape out there that tweeted that to Melissa Lee is, I hope you see this, but I just want you to know that that one little message, for some reason, uh, put the spirit of the apes and the message that we started with, that we're stronger together. I can't leave this play because if I do that, then that's an ape on the other end who has been in this play for who knows how long, has been riding with this community, been supporting and propping each other up, and they're counting on us to hold out on this play so we can squeeze AMC. I don't want to be the cause of anyone who has put that much of their money and their heart and soul into... Uh, the possibilities of how this thing could go off. I don't want to be the cause of anybody not being able to capitalize on that because I decided at the last minute to pull up shop. So we all know about the future is that we're going to have to live to see that day come when the future actually arrives. And only then will we know the end of the story. No one has a crystal ball. No one can say for certain what will happen a day from now a month from now a year from now 10 years from now that's true about everything in life obviously my hope would be for a fairy tale ending i'm an amc shoulder big one whether it happens or not the only way we'll know is to live through it and get to that day and then we'll know having said that i, val I value every single dollar that every investor puts an AMC and it's my job to make sure that this company grows into the valuation that it has in the financial markets. Tell me about what it was like to go through these past 18 months. I mean, emotionally, what was it like for you? I'd have to say that it's been a roller coaster and a friend of mine who's the CEO of another company called me right in the the darkest and bleakest, you know, March and April of 2020 when the whole country was on lockdown. And he said, Adam, are we up for this? We were, we were born three weeks apart and I was 65 years of age in April of 2020. He said, are we up for this? You're 65, I'm 65. This is gonna be two years of hell, three years of hell, four years of hell. It's gonna be an incredible slog to get through this. And I remember saying to him, not only are we up for it, what we do over the next two, three years, it's gonna be the most important things we've ever done in our entire professional careers. 
Everything that we've done doesn't matter. It was all preparation for this day. We, we're, we've been somehow put in the, the seat to guide our companies through this horrible storm. And if we do, that's the legacy we're going to leave behind. And so, sure, there have been darker days and happier days. Uh, and there have been some pretty stressful days when things got dicey. But, you know, this is what we were made for. And CEOs get paid a lot. Nobody necessarily understands how tough the job is. Every bit of energy you can devote. And even then, you're not guaranteed a success. All you can guarantee is that you will throw everything you have at it. And so, sure, it's been a wild ride, sometimes scary, sometimes hilarious, especially with some of the things I'm seeing come my way, but always important. I felt I wasn't just doing a job, that I, I, I really was given a mission by these retail investors. And it was, okay, buddy, you're in charge of this 101-year-old American institution. Save it. Don't let it disappear. Don't let this COVID virus or Wall Street take it down. Don't let it happen. Don't let it be on your watch. And that's something I've taken to heart uh, every single day of the last year and a half. And we probably have a year and a half. And I'm glad I watched this thing all the way to the end because when Adam Aaron spoke about what his mission was, that he had to pull AMC up out of the ashes, he's done it with the company. We're trying to do it with the stock. And as much DD as we've done, all the stuff that we've dug up, everything we brought to the attention of the media, the SEC, Congress, no one has decided to step in and take our side. Really, guys, we've been able to do this all on our own. Millions of different retail investors who call themselves apes, who picked up the mantle and wanted to go and fight for something that they believed in. And none of us know each other. We don't know each other's backgrounds. We don't even know some of each other's names. But for 11 months, we have hung with these guys blow for blow. And so I want to be able to look back at this time of my life and know that I threw everything I had at it. And I didn't quit when the going got tough. I hung in there with all of you guys and we fought to the end. No matter what way this turns out, at least at the end of the day, we'll be able to hold our heads up high and no one can ever say you guys gave up or you didn't give it all you had because we're still here fighting a week from Christmas about to come back up on the one year anniversary of the buy button getting deleted. So I'm not going anywhere. I still like the stock. Fundamentals are getting better. We got a good CEO and we still have each other. And as long as we stick together and keep positive as much as we can in the rough times, then we still got a shot at taking these guys down. That's all I got for tonight, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. As always, thank you so much to this community. All my subs out there, my viewers, my guys who hit like, my commenters. I love all you guys. I appreciate everything you do for me. I hope you have a great evening. This is Ape Nation. I'm the Massalorian, and I'm out.